After generating millions of dollars online by managing OnlyFans models and the best part is being able to only work a couple of hours a week and letting the entire agency run by itself on practically autopilot. I figured out a couple of ways on how to run and scale uh, an agency to 10,000 a month the quote unquote lazy way, right? Because I think so many people ask the question of what's the easiest way or I don't know if I have enough time or enough experience. So. Here are three ways I'm gonna list in this video, which are unusual, by the way. <laughs> I've never said this on any YouTube videos or any coaching things. I literally just thought of them because they're, some are kind of funny or some are actually very unique. And if you're one of the first people to use one of these free methods, you could potentially make far more than 10K a month with OnlyFans management. So let's just jump into the video. So first of all, if you're brand new here and you don't know what OnlyFans management is, in very, very simple terms, you would be the manager of an OnlyFans creator. Think of it the same as any musician or entertainer. They all need a manager, right? Somebody who typically books them in for like podcasts and TV show appearances and so on and so on. Now, you'll be doing the same thing apart from there are no TV shows and there are, I mean, there can be podcast appearances, but typically there isn't. What you will be doing is helping them with the marketing and essentially telling them what to post, where to post it, how to go viral. But really, the main part where you're helping is the actual OnlyFans account management, right? So you'd be helping with the messages, selling content, distribution, making sure there are more fans coming in and they are staying for longer and they are spending more, right? And again, if you're brand new, a lot of people are like, well, why do these models need help with this? Couldn't they just all do it by themselves? Technically and physically, yes, they can do the messages and all this stuff by themselves. However, it's a, uh, a capacity strain, right? There's only so much that you can do. There's only 24 hours in a day. And if you have to do everything yourself, which is think of the content, take the videos and photos and edit them, schedule them, upload them and reply to messages and keep doing that forever, you're gonna burn out and there's just physically not enough time in the day to compete with everybody else. So this is where you're able to build a team, AKA get a manager, get a bunch of chatters and so on and so on. But anyway, this video in particular isn't to go into the intricacies of how OnlyFans management is, is running and how the business model works. If you wanna watch videos about that, I have dozens. I have quite a lot of videos on my YouTube channel about that. You can check them out on my uh, channel. Anyway, let's go into the three different types of lazy ways to scale to $10,000 a month with OnlyFans management. Now, the first one is actually something that I personally have done by accident. And I think a lot of people now are doing, but if you wanna do it proactively, it's gonna be very, very lucrative and quick for you to scale, which is find somebody who already is doing OnlyFans management, who's also roughly in the beginning stages. Now, whether if you're watching this and you're just starting out, then you wanna find somebody who's just a couple of steps ahead of you. Maybe he's had one or two clients. Whereas if you're watching this and you are already making, let's just say 7,000 a month, again, you wanna find somebody a couple of steps ahead of you, right? And partner with them. Now, you absolutely, in this business model, you don't need a business partner. It's completely doable by yourself. However, it is a lot simpler if there are two of you. Now, as long as you're both pulling your weight, so there can't be one person who's working very, very, very hard and then the other person who's doing fuck all and just taking half the money, then that doesn't work, right? You need to both be doing uh, equal amounts of work and equal amounts of input into the business for it to be fair, obviously, right? Now, why is this lazy? Because if you are partnering, let's just say in, in this instance, you are just starting out, you have no experience, no clients, etc. cetera. Um, if you were to partner with somebody who is a couple of steps ahead of you, like I gave in the example earlier, for example, they already have two or three clients already, right? Now that is, for a lot of people, the hardest part. The hardest part is just getting your first client because when you're starting out, you have no results, no case studies, no screenshots, no testimonials, nothing to showcase. And you probably don't know what you're saying or how to explain yourself on a call and so on and so on, right? Which by the way, side note, that actually isn't the hardest part, but for a lot of people, you think that is, right? In our community, we explain to you how to overcome that very, very, very easy. But anyway, for most people, you think that that is the hardest part. Now, if you partner with somebody who's already done that, then all of a sudden, everything is a lot more easier. And it does become easier, by the way, with every single client you sign on, everything becomes so much more easier. You have more money to leverage, therefore you can hire staff members. You also have more experience. You've also most likely made more mistakes, therefore you've learned lessons from those mistakes. And you're able to avoid those mistakes in the future. And then also if you have clients and you're making money, aka you're getting results, you now have other case studies and other results to leverage and showcase to sign new clients.
making sense, right? So anyway, step number one, or the first tactic or the first way is to partner with somebody who's already doing OnlyFans management and is a couple of steps ahead of you. And where can you find them? Well, number one, there's a free community that we've built completely free of charge. It'll be in the link down below. I believe it's the pinned comment as well. Uh, it's a free Discord. There's nearly 20,000 people in there, probably more than 20K at the time of uh, you watching this. And there are guys all around the world starting and scaling OnlyFans management agencies. Now, predominantly, obviously, that group is uh, going to be for beginners. So you're going to find most people in there who are just anywhere from zero to 10K a month mark. Uh, and again, if that's you, then that is perfect. Join that group, start to connect with people, uh, introduce yourself once you join the group, tell people where you're from, like which country, so you can maybe find somebody in the same country, maybe even the same state or in the same seat as you, who knows? We've had that happen before. So yeah, where can you find these people is by joining other communities of like-minded people who are also running OnlyFans management agencies. Now, the second way on how you can scale to $10,000 a month of OnlyFans management, the kind of lazy way, and this one is is actually very, very interesting. And I personally don't know anyone who's done this. And um, let me just talk about it, right? So overall, like I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, the very, very basics of OnlyFans management is you take on a model, you are their manager, and you're helping them with marketing, but mainly you're doing the OnlyFans management uh, of the account, right? So, and within that, there's a couple of things that are involved. Everything from posting on the feed, like on the actual wall post, to the main one is replying to messages and selling content in the DMs, right? Now, overall, majority of the money will be made in the messages. That is by far the most important thing. Um, obviously, without marketing, by the way, and AKA without any new subs, this doesn't make any sense because if there's no new subs coming in, then there's nobody to sell content to, right? This second method, which is something that I thought of recently, is instead of what typically what everybody does, right? Is they'll take on a client at 50%. So they will take 50%, the model gets 50% of whatever you guys make on the basis that the agency helps with everything, literally everything. Helps with ideas for the content, helps with maybe even editing the TikToks, maybe even scheduling and posting the TikToks and the reels and the YouTube videos and the Instagram posts, helps with ideas on the story posts and all of that. Plus also helps with uh, ideas for the not safe work content, helps with live streams, helps with obviously the chatting, the wall posts and everything in between, right? Now, if you're doing all of that and you're doing a fantastic job and you're actually making a lot, a lot, a lot of money for your clients, then it makes sense to charge 50%. For example, for us, we've taken models from zero to $180,000 a month. And we've taken 50% of that because, well, they would have never made that without us in the first place, right? So anyway, now, the problem that a lot of people face is they will charge 50% and they will say that they're going to do all these things. But what they actually end up doing is practically like one out of the 10 things that they guaranteed, which is mainly just the chatting. They reply to the messages, right? And what happens, obviously, is the client is fairly unhappy. He or she says, hey, can we either reduce the percentage or they just leave in most cases, right? So the second method, I needed to give you all that context so you now understand the second method, which was instead of charging 50%, what if you were to just offer a smaller percentage, so perhaps anywhere from 20 to 35%, but you only, only offer chatting, and what you do is you'd find somebody who's an existing chatter, maybe perhaps from the Philippines or wherever you wanna find them, and you simply work alongside with them on a small basis. You only need, for example, if you wanna scale to 10K a month, you can either have one model making 20k a month um well i was gonna say and you take 50 percent in this case you should actually need to be making more if you're taking 30 percent you get what i'm trying to say or you just have a couple models that are making anywhere from five to seven k a month and you take 30 percent and all of a sudden that equates to ten thousand a month in earnings already straight away which is pretty simple so in this instance you are essentially white labeling just a group of chatters and that is all you're doing. By the way, you'd obviously be upfront with the model, right? So on the interview uh, or on the actual call itself, on the Zoom call, you would tell them, hey, by the way, we actually don't do the marketing. We don't do this, we don't do that, we don't do this. We only focus on this. And the reason why we're able to do that is because we only take a small percentage. If you want help with the marketing and so on, you can you know, work with these people or it's maybe an extra charge, however you want to do it. But anyway, I feel like this is another interesting quote unquote lazy way to scale to 10K a month because one, I don't think many people are doing it. And two, like you're not, you personally wouldn't technically need to do a whole lot if you have the chatters. Uh, that you can find, right? You can find them from either Facebook groups or onlinejobs.ph, anything along those lines. You can find a lot of these experienced chatters and simply work with them. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, at that point, you are essentially letting them do the work for you and you're obviously paying them 
and you just be in charge of getting new clients on board. That is it, it's pretty simple. That's a lazy way, number two. Now the third way, which is the most important way to make 10K a month with OFM, is by liking this video. Yeah, please like this video. Thank you so much. The third way, which I think is uh, very, very new right now, and um, it won't be in like a year from now because it's developing so quickly and learning so quickly, uh, is using AI creators, right? AI models. So this is obviously images and videos created via AI. So these are not real people. They think that there's pros and cons of this, right? So the reason why I've listed it in this video uh, along the kind of lazy ways to make 10K a month is because it is, if you can crack the code of creating a bunch of photos and videos with AI at scale, where you don't actually need a real person and you can get loads of content very, very easy and cheap, then you've cracked it, right? You've cracked the code. And also you probably want to use OnlyFans platform. You can use other ones such as FanView and so on. And in fact, they actually uh, are happy to get AI creators on the platform, unlike OnlyFans, right? Anyway, that's for another video. And the pros and cons, like the pro is that, like I said, if you can crack it and you can do this at scale and you can create loads of photos and videos, which that would be fantastic, right? The con is that it isn't so simple and easy right now. It is doable because I know people that are doing it. However, it costs quite a lot, so it would bite into your profit margins. However, of course, the pro is that these are not real people, so there wouldn't really be any problems, right? There wouldn't be any issues. There wouldn't really be any issues of the client, client potentially not paying you and so on and so on. Right. So anyway, that's the third way that you can look into with AI. Personally, in my opinion, I think the first way is by far the best, is by partnering with somebody who already is running an OnlyFans management agency and is a little bit ahead of you. Maybe they already have a couple of clients, you come on board with them on their business and you work together and you're able to scale a lot faster that way. If you wanna find somebody to work with, again, there'll be a link down below to a free Discord community and you can find your business partner in there. Other than that, please like this video. Thank you so much, I'll see you on the next one.